Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited today, praise God, to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, when we say God's truth, it means every thought of God that we are communicating is truth. In prayer, in words, in teachings, it's truth, praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So can we call for that daily bread even as we go into today's broadcast? Say with me, say, Father, I receive now my daily bread. Now, I want you to emphasize that, but my daily bread, hallelujah, it's coming to me. Angels, bring it to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Yeah, something is happening in your life. I, I see the Spirit of God. Listen, you know, yesterday, while we're closing the broadcast, I sensed a strong unction in my heart to pray for you. And, and there, are, there are things that the Spirit of God is going to be doing in your life beginning from this week. Now, trust me, by the end of this month, before the end of this month, you are going to see literally what the Lord is talking about positioning. You are going to, you are going to get into things you never imagined you could get into by this time of your life. I'm speaking to you now by the Spirit of God. And I'm not talking about before the end of the year. I'm talking about this month of March, before the end of this month of March. But I see a lot of things beginning this week. Yeah, a lot of things are beginning this week. So the phone call is coming this week. The phone call that is going to cause that repositioning in your life. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. The discovery that is going to ch change the course of your life is appearing this week. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Some of you are going to encounter people this week that are going to be so relevant for your future and where God is taking you to. That is itself his position. The Lord is going to lead you to certain people and certain places. Many of these things you will not plan them. But you will just find you, you just something like the burning bush experience by Moses. You know, he was, he was, he was, he, now he, he's been around that place grazing with, with his cattle. And, and suddenly he turned around and saw this bush on fire. I said, oh, wow. You know, how you say bush on fire? Like, uh, who came around here? I didn't hear anybody move. But then he, he looked closely and noticed that, yeah, the bush is on fire, but the leaves were not burning. So he took knowledge of that. Now that's why it is important you be observant. Moses didn't just say, ah, fire, fire, fire. Then, oh, start guarding all his cattle and, and, and taking them away. He paused first and said, yes, there's fire, but who set this fire up? Is there anyone around here with me? I mean, no, he, he became observant. That will help you spiritually. That will help you get into God's best. That's your observant. So he became observant. He, he, he looked around like, uh, did someone just run and throw something here and escaped? No, how? Why? And then why was thinking of that? Like, but come on. You know how you've looked at something burning and say, hey, in your mind, you just by this time, this thing should be turning black. Or he, he, he looked at like, uh, hold on. No, no, no. This is not a normal fire. And then he, he said, uh, uh. I think I need to look at this thing closely. That's why he said, I will turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush is not burning. So he turned aside and he began to approach it. And, and look at it closely. Then the word of the Lord came to him. Praise God. And that's exactly what the Spirit of God is doing to many of you this week. You are going to be receiving your burning bush experience. Now, what do I mean by burning bush experience? It doesn't mean literally you see a bush on fire like Moses did. But you see, there is something that is going to get your attention so much this week that you will literally have to turn aside to pay attention to it. Now, I see someone that is, there is, there's, there's, there's a calling that God is calling you into. And you know it, but you've been running away from it. You literally. 
you've been running away from it. You've been trying to do everything to disobey God. So, so God will not talk to you about that. Guess what? You are like Jonah. Praise <laughs> God. You are like Jonah. You are telling yourself, see, I, I, I know if God tells me, I will do it. But, but then you're in that place where like, I don't even want God to talk. He shouldn't say anything. Just, just leave me. Just, just leave me. Because I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Hey, hear me. That thing the Lord wants you to do is not just going to bring a blessing to you. It's going to bring a blessing to many. So as you're running away from it, think about the people you're depriving from being blessed by that thing that the Lord is putting in your heart to do. But I hear the Spirit of God say to you, trust me and I will help you. I'm not sending you to go and do this thing alone. I'm calling you to walk with me and I will do it through you. So he's only looking for you so he can express himself through you. He's not giving you an assignment to go and think it out and, and walk it out. He's only calling you, come, let me express myself through you in this area. So why run away? Can you just trust the Lord and let him carry you even now? In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for you now that the Lord will fill you with his strength, that the Lord will fill you with his ability. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray that your mind is properly positioned right now and that you begin to see what God is saying and see it the way he is seeing it. And, and I pray for you that there is, there is, Paul said, that you may know what is the hope of your calling. I pray that prayer for you right now. That you will know what is the hope of God's calling in that thing that he's calling you to do. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I, I see a lady also. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Same thing. You're running away from the work of the Lord that the Lord has put in your hands. You are running away from it. Hear me hear me jesus said my yoke is easy and my body is light you're watching me right now you have braids on your your jesus said my body is light so why are you afraid why are you scared the body that you're looking to take is actually heavy heavier than the one the lord jesus is calling you to do what you're trying to get into is much heavier than what Jesus is calling you into. So why would you choose in 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 in, a, in this place we call it suffer head? Why would you choose to suffer and lift a body that is bigger than you, which you were not made to carry? Why would you choose that rather than what Jesus is calling you to do? The one He's calling you to do, He will help you bear it. He will help you carry it. And listen, forget all the negative things you've seen. Forget all the... Now, that's why the Lord is calling you because he wants to set a standard with you. He wants to set a standard through you. So simply obey the Lord and let him express himself through you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I speak strength into your life right now. Thank you, Jesus. I speak strength into your being right now. I speak strength into your being right now. I see you say, Lord, okay, I accept, but help me restore my prayer life. That's what you're asking the Lord for. Restore my prayer life. Even right now, the Spirit of God is, is, is rejuvenating that aspect of your life. Oh, thank you, Lord. I feel the anointing of God's Spirit come on you right now. Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> go ahead and begin to pray. Just go ahead and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Something is happening in you right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And this particular person, I hear the Lord say that is that, that uh, he's healing you. There's an ailment in your body. And that's the, that's the thing that you're using as an excuse. Right now, the Spirit of God is touching you 
in that place and you are healed in the name of the Lord Jesus you are healed right now he's healing you from that thing yes he's healing you from that thing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you Lord Jesus I speak provision into your life right now wherever you are the, hearing the sound of my voice right now I speak supernatural provision in your life I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus you are being positioned right and provisions are coming to you freely your days of struggling are over your days of struggling are over I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus from today you will not struggle again but I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus you will begin to experience God's goodness in your life you begin to experience god's favor god's provision god is speaking to people to respond to you and the moment they hear his voice where you are concerned they are quick to do what god have commanded them to do in the name of the lord jesus your days of being broke is over your days of being broke it's completely completely no more being broke for you Thank you, Jesus. There is a supply that the Lord has opened up to you. And I declare you are in place. You are in position to receive that supply right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Today, you are receiving money. Today, you are receiving favor. Financial favor is coming to you today. I declare that right now. And it is so in the name of of the lord jesus christ amen praise god i told you this week the spirit of god is going to move upon us so so don't miss any of this week's broadcast and and hey listen you can go to our youtube channel and if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel please do so do so so that you can go to there are several things we've taught on you just search for the topic that is important to you and listen and listen and listen and listen. Praise God. Until you are consumed by God's truth. Until you begin to reason it that way. Reason life through the eyes of the Spirit of God. And that's where you begin to see the manifestation of the blessing. Praise God. Thank you very much for joining us today. I declare it is well with your body. I declare it is well with your soul. I declare it is well with your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.